Hello! In today's video, I'd like to geek out a little bit. Every once in a while, I get something in the store that's so unique and so cool that I just have to share it with everybody. This is a monogram super kit. It dates from 1954. It represents the hybrid of a wooden kit with what was then very early plastic styrene parts. The body, uh, fuselage, the wings, the tail, they're all made out of balsa wood and everything else is made out of injection plastic. Uh, you can tell from the box, it's it's got a lot of thought put into it, lots of hype, lots of, you know, this, this kit will be a lot of fun. You will get lots of enjoyment out of it. It looks to me like a lot of work and a lot of pain. The decal sheet, as you can see, is totally useless. The instructions were very clear. There's the stand and the canopy. You know, injection parts were still pretty pretty cool thing at that time. There's a layout of what you get in plastic. And I inventoried the kit. They're all there. All in nice yellow plastic. I've seen various reviews on this kit. It comes in different colors of plastic. There's your fuselage. It needs to be sanded. It's rough. And there's the uh, tail wing. Now, somebody was actually trying to work on this. There's the actual wings, and they have the plastic styrene uh, ribs glued to it. There's a template. That's to show you where to drill holes to mount things like the landing gears and so forth. Oh, I got another picture of the stand and the canopy. But it's a really neat snapshot at the way modeling began way back in the 50s. I mean, by not long after that, they were all plastic kits, and they certainly didn't use dope on them. I just thought you'd like a little peek at this vintage kit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Okay, don't forget, please subscribe, slap that bell, hit that like button, and join Team Hobby Center.